special segment today in honor of Black History Month. Joining me is Cindy Robertson. She is head of genealogy and special collections at the Washita Parish Public Library. And we're here to talk about two notable people in history that are from this area, from right here. And uh, we also have some fascinating items to show you as well during the interview. So, Cindy, thank you so much for joining us. It's great to have you. Thank you. Let's first talk about a woman who paved the way for young black women and, and women alike. Uh, she is from Madison Parish. Her name is Madam C.J. Walker, and uh, she is uh, a historical figure. And uh, Cindy, I'm going to let you tell us, give us a brief synopsis of Madam C.J. Walker. Well, Madam C.J. Walker, Sarah Breedlove, uh -huh. was the first woman self-made millionaire. So it's not just black history but it's women's history, as, as you mentioned. And Sarah was the first of her siblings that was not born into slavery. She, she was never a slave, but she was born in, in Madison Parish, and she, in her adult life, had problems with skin care and her, her scalp. Mm -hmm. And she devised a beauty product, hair care products, that worked with her, her problem. And she marketed it, promoted it, sold it, really made a lot of money, mm -hmm. a million. <laughs> and um, she started schools, she had a business, she trained other people, she taught, she gave her money to worthwhile causes, she promoted education, so she was a philanthropist as well as a self-made millionaire. And she hand wrote a letter, which is still in existence today. Tell us about the letter. I was um, taking part, there I had written a grant mm -hmm. for the um, from the Board of Regents in Louisiana to add items to the digital library and I was traveling across the northeast corner into each of the public libraries looking for historic items and I was in Madison Parish and they have a little museum there next door to the library and they told me about this letter and they let me scan the letter to add to the digital library. Madam C.J. Walker, not long before she died, she died in her 50s, but she had written this letter back to her father's former employer is, is from the best I can tell and she's telling them about her success and asking how they're doing just kind of a chatty letter mm -hmm. and it's on her business letterhead and then it's signed of course Madam C.J. Walker. We have just a little bit of time left but let's go to Lot Goins and the program. Lot Goins is from this area as well? Yes, Lot Goins. We found a program in our uh, vertical file mm -hmm. and it was just a program for an Armistice Day celebration. And it was from um, the Lot Goins chapter of the Disabled American Veterans. It was the colored chapter is how the program was listed. And we didn't know who Lot Goins was, so we had to research and, and you know try to find out who Lot Goins was. And he was a private in World War I, and his, he actually died of diphtheria on his way to France. He never made it to, to the battle, mm -hmm. but his was the first military funeral from World War I in the Monroe area. You notice how the program, uh, it says World War, because it was not World War II. That's right. That is all right. the time that we have, but we can uh, talk about, you can get all this information on the Louisiana Public Library. You can look up these documents and many others. Cindy, thank you so much for joining us. It thank was you. great to have you.